Hey everybody, welcome to uh, game two. Oh, I can't even get the word tragic. Would have been nice to get that word to get level two early on. Dude, I'm so tiny now compared to the last game. <laughs> Starting from zero all over again. Aurelian Soul matchup is good because he uses Q, but then bad because you give him like free stacks. I landed a good knockup. Oh. If he used hook immediately, he could have probably hit it. I mean, got her flash though. He, we would have hit Aurelian Soul, but somebody rounded the corner. I stayed in Fog of War. Somebody ruined the play. So, I know who it was. Playing Q on that guy. But yeah, we have a lot of things in our kit to like completely prevent the... Uh... Wait, is there a Jax in our jungle taking it? Okay, so there's a Jax at our Raptors taking the uh, camp. Landed some good Qs on this guy. Because he went E, that also makes the game so much easier. I'm just landing every Q on this guy. I jinxed myself. Tragic. I'll just flash, you know? Let's flash for flash, huh? Flash for flash is fine. I guess... What, I could get ganked by Jax, huh? That'd be dangerous. Still in a pretty decent position, though. One Q should kill at this point, I think. That lands. One auto attack should do it. Now, he's going to TP back, and I can't push out the wave fast enough. But maybe I can get a couple of the creeps. I don't know. I feel like he TP'd really late there. He could have done it much earlier, I think. I don't know why he took so long to do that. But nice, an early game lead for ourselves again. Just land a few Qs and you win. Pretty simple. Of course, we almost died because, I mean, after I land everything and he holds down Q, he does hurt really bad. So, um, I did have to get low for it, but it's better for uh, me to have no flash with him than him. Like, if, if we both have no flash, it's definitely more valuable for me because I have a easier to land... I just have crowd control. Honestly, he doesn't, he doesn't even have CC, so with no CC on him, it's just better. Now it's just a matter of continuing to land our Qs. I'm really anticipating this guy to move off of my Qs, but he's not. So, like, uh, right there, I threw it to the side, and then he just didn't move at all. Maybe I'll try to do, like, more just right on top of you. What? <laughs> that doesn't land? Okay. That does, though. Ooh, another good hit. That's that's honestly a really good hit. Yeah, you are getting kind of crushed right now. Keep on queuing me, bro. See what happens. See what happens if you keep queuing me. I'm going to run under tower here because one more queue does it. Cassante's coming. That's what at least Vayne is pinging. Yeah, he's super screwed now. <laughs> uh, it's because he's missing all these minions. The EXP of the minions is kind of a big deal. And he is not getting a single one, so... Another good Q on this guy to chunk him. It looks like he's trying to stop our fiddle six from doing this. I'm, I'm nervous for fiddle. Dang, I was hoping he would run into that. Dang it. Uh, I don't have any mana. I'm oom. Bye. Bye. 
See you guys later. You're on your own. I'm gonna buy level 2 boots so we can continue running this guy down. Wow, Acehole, you're actually gonna fight? Um, you're kind of... You did... You... That was a good trade for you. You did more damage to her than she did to you, and she's 6. Uh, but she just got him low for me, so... If he doesn't base, I don't know what he's gonna do. Good luck. Good luck, man. <laughs> uh... What? That misses? I can't believe it. Alright, but one Q I think kills. I think. It's It's close. I need him to feel confident and step up. That's good poke damage. I'm not gonna get the fee stack, but at least I kill, you know? And that's that's worth it. <laughs> Why is everybody so scared of me, bro? <laughs> oh man, this is Ah, uh, this Cho'gath is diffed. Wait, that sounds insulting. To be honest, she has been saying the opposite for everything. She said report Jinx. I don't think this guy's ever been serious. I thought she said Cho'gath Diff, which she, she said... I'm not diffed. I'm winning. I already deal plenty of damage. I'm just going to buy a Kindle Gem to have a completed item. 10 ability haste on that. Let's just make it so we can spam more often, right? Try to get a few more Qs on this guy. Fiddle six is not six. Oh, here comes the team. That was a really good fear. Yo, lantern me in. I'm just kidding. You don't have lantern because you used it on somebody else. Just eat him. Get another stack for myself. And now let's go bot. This guy's zero four zero. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, I'm so fed. <laughs> I just tanked. Yeah, I just took their bot farm and she pinged. Whoops. MB. Is Azel here? No, he's still here. Hey, dude. I'm just gonna silence you first whenever you jump on me. With that, uh, thing. Yo, brother. <laughs> this poor guy, man, dude. When you fall behind versus a Cho'Gath, that actually feels so bad. But boy, does it feel good for me. <laughs> it's a very satisfying thing. Alright, so we're not going to try to touch the wave. The best case scenario, I think, is just uh, let him walk up and just, like, continue throwing our cues at him. We want him to feel miserable. <laughs> yeah. Can't get the farm, man. Uh, he dies to one more Q plus feast. Or maybe flash W feast could be done, too. I enjoy bringing suffering to others. I'm not even gonna need to, uh... I'll flash out, so then I live. <laughs> what is he, 06? No, he's 05. Oh. Let's see if we can get him to AFK. I feel like I'm a psychopath right now. He's 1 HP. <laughs> uh, hey, Janna. Dude, you're the slowest Janna I've ever met. I'm used to Janna zooming by. She has no boots, that's why. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! That did so much damage. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Do I have my uh, Proto Belt? Oh man, just one more wave and I have it. Dude, what if I just kill this guy again for the gold? What are the chances, though? Really? I have to land, I think, four Qs. 
Because uh, whenever he died, he bought items. So technically, like, look at our items. I have one Dark Seal, and yeah, my Dark Seal stacked, and that's pretty good. But um, he did get to buy that that Giant's Belt, and that's worth as much as a Kindle Gem. So technically, we're even item gold, kind of. Oh no, I have level two boots though. Never mind, I'm wrong. So I'll just eat him again. <laughs> this guy. Oh my goodness, man. By the way, this is like Masters MMR, so... And sometimes Diamond 1. So I'm just letting you guys know that this is high elo if you consider D1 or Master Tier high elo. So... <laughs> uh, I'll look at his account after the game to see if, uh, you know... It's always even funnier when they like are like a one trick, you know. If he's a one trick, at really in soul. All right, so I'm gonna finally buy, and then once we get back, we're gonna have a, a much easier time continuing our uh, our domination. I'll just buy more Kindle gems. I really like uh, going CDR on Cho'Gath, so. It was the perfect purchase. If I could afford this, I could have maybe sold my potion for it, but I would buy this over this. It's just that I didn't think about selling my potion immediately, so. Uh-oh. So I'm gonna eat him the same frame I get stunned, like I buffer it, and then, uh... I think he has flash there, but he just thought that the stun would save him. Because that was calling it close. That was like same millisecond. If if I was like a tenth of a second later, I would have never killed him with Feast there. And I would have had to try to kill him with Q. So the next thing I should do is find an angle where, like, he doesn't think that I'm at. <laughs> because then I can uh, catch him off guard. <laughs> so, like, around this wall is Fog of War. But we don't have good vision. So we'll just silence him. One more Q should do it. And then just feast him. He's 080. <laughs> Look at the rest of his team, though. Honestly, his teammates are doing good. Uh, so I'll just like take mid turret, I guess, because nobody's here. If if Cassante TP's on me, I think I die. I don't know. He has a, he has a chance to kill me. He wants to try. What if I did the same exact play? He has Rylize now, by the way, so just be aware of that. Is he going to step up? Dang it, that was kind of close. I needed to do that much faster. Do I have my item on base? No, I don't. I, I'm honestly starting to get nervous about other people being mid. Really. Um, if other people come mid, they definitely can, like, if I over-aggress, I'll have to burn a summoner. Is this warded? Doesn't seem that way. Silence, by the way, does not break his thing. So if you sound somebody who's using his, uh, his, like, flying, it doesn't do anything. Just, uh, something important to know. Silences don't stop it. So I'm gonna go buy my second item because 
I want to be really fed compared to the other people. If I don't buy this item, I'm actually super even with a lot of their team. Like, look at Jax. I'd have one and a half items, and like Cassante even has one and a half items. Even though I have these nine kills, the, the kills aren't worth as much because I, I killed them so much, you know, so. Who is that, Cassante bot? I can just run bot right after doing this and uh, go eat him if he tries to kill. I'm on the way. Plus, uh, Raelian Soul just uh, got his shutdown messed up. Yeah, dash over the wall, come. So I just need a feast and then he's dead. And uh, we'll just uh, kill this guy too, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna put this game first, and then the second game, uh, the first game will be the second one. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It would have been more satisfying if you never got any kills this game, huh? That would have been so funny if you just ended the game like 0 10 0. I'm gonna go grab the red buff. I'm trying to look for more picks in their jungle. That's that's what I want to do right now. Holy crap, that did a lot. Alright, boys. I guess I'll base. Oh, uh, Jinx might get caught. You have to take the lantern out. Otherwise, you'll die. Okay, well. She'll just die. I'm not going to go into that many people on my own. Are they here? Blind queue? Ooh, this seems like a not good fight. Honestly, that guy died immediately. That was kind of ridiculous. Somebody face check me that squishy, please. Aurelian Soul? Janna? Someone? Jax. Why is Janna so slow? Still. She got level 2 boots and she still seems really slow. I kind of expected Janna to be in that spot. Alright, how many more stacks do I need? I think I might build Rift. Because uh, that's like the inexpensive item. Rift Maker. I still need a bit more money though. I need like 400 gold to get it. Oh no. Oh yeah, Vayne 030. She's actually uh, quite weak. Can you win a Cho'Gath game while being 12 and 0? No, you can't. Um, I don't want to go that far for those waves, so... I base, and I guess I'll just sell everything there. Bye, Sweeper. Sweeper's going to be better for looking for picks, and now we just group and uh, look for whatever. We'll just give top. We should do the dragon. Play for soul. Maybe they try to do baron. They just rotated a baron suddenly. Out of nowhere. I think that they can try it. We need to make sure that they don't do it. But nobody's around me. Yeah, they were on it indeed. I was very uh, proactive with making myself get over there. So we make sure that they don't do that. Now we go do the other thing. 
because we have good vision control on it. They shouldn't be able to do it that quickly, so, uh... I mean, they do it pretty fast, but they're not already on it, so... Dang, I really wanted to eat that! Bro! Okay, my Rift Maker, by the way, gives 46 AP, if you were wondering, for uh, the HP into AP. The best way to play this is everybody sweeps, get vision, and then just wait for them to walk in and we just fight. Like that. That worked. I can eat this guy. Dang, Q didn't land on that guy. Alright, let's just do Baron now. And then after Baron, we, uh, we'll have a much easier time just sieging. Very easy. Who was, who was pinging uh, back away? Was Jinx pinging it on like the vein that went mid? Whatever, we don't really need her. The next item will be a death cap. Dude, I wanted to eat it again, but this six keeps on smiting. I mean, the good news is that I can honestly eat anything, and technically I'm not losing stacks. So, like that. Because I'm not even done stacking. Yo, I actually gained like 4 AP <laughs> from doing that. You know what? Let's build a Medjize. I think the bonus movement speed could be pretty handy, so I'll go for that. This vein has 2 KP. <laughs> That's quite tiny. Oh, uh, let's just eat something again. And now we're done. So we don't need a stack anymore. I'm not even 16. I'm feeling good. What is that? There's something spinning on the blast cone. Alright, so we just siege. Uh, by sieging, we just mainly mean the cannon. I think I'm dead here. Oh my god, I'm not. No, I am. Yeah, I'm dead. Am I? Oh my god, I'm not. That lantern saved my life. See how scary Cassante is? Even though I'm so fed, I, I still die to, like, them so easily. I'm actually going to base because of how low I am. I mean, it's going to take me a time to get back there. I'm confident my team can win without me. Of course, they could throw without me too, but... Um, it would have been worse if I stayed because I was so low, right? God, that damage to a Janna is kind of incredible. GG's. This game's definitely uh, a bit over now. 12 death bot lane, or I mean mid lane. So that's how you play Cho'Gath into Aurelian Soul. Um, we'll look at his account. <laughs> I have not. I I don't I don't think that I've uh, dominated that hard on Cho'Gath versus anybody in so long. <laughs> uh, so GGS. Yeah, I did second most to Jinx, surprisingly. It's because of late game, I didn't really do that much besides run around in circles. So, uh, this is the Aurelian Soul. Master tier. Zed and Akali and something else player. So, he's just a mid lane main. Looks like he recently has been playing some Aurelian Soul. And uh, he has some games where he won and was behind. He has some games where he does good. He has a game where he does good and unfortunately loses. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it versus this Master Tier player, and I will see you guys in the next commentary. Farewell. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Cho'Gath mid versus what should have been Syndra.
Uh, it looks like they're lane swapping. I don't know if this is to help out Syndra, because Syndra should crush me. Uh, or to help out Senna, because Senna doesn't want to go against this guy. So, yeah, um, playing against uh, this guy, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I pinged it like a minute ago, but good awareness. I'm probably going to have to do Emacs. This matchup kind of not the best. I mean, he is vulnerable, but I mean, so am I, so. Hit that. I really wanted it. Wow, that missed. Surprising. He was ghost. Just leave him be. This is actually so good for us now because the wave is uh, in a really good position. Ghost advantage. Damn, too bad Nunu can't come back, huh? First blood for myself. You got hit by a Q. See you later, brother. Good attempt. I need to somehow fix my wave, but uh, uh, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Because I got no mana. One good Q. Lands on both. Okay, that might completely crash and we're good to go. The early game is the hardest part versus set and I took really poor trades because I greeted for CS, but you should probably just, I guess, farm from really far away with Q. That would have been smarter. Rather than even step up. Just press Q on the three uh, melees that die and then you're chilling. That would have been a much better way of playing that. And then as the game progresses, thankfully, we'll have our E to, like, occasionally hit him. So if he jumps on us, he doesn't just get to dodge my Q, because dodging Q is pretty easy. He has fleet, too, which is really annoying. It makes him so damn fast. Just hit him with the Q. Another good Q as his shield expires for like a okay trade back. Silence him. He's probably looking for a E, so... Oh, he actually landed it. Well played. Silencing. New new snowball will hit him. Oh, but he doesn't die. My god, dude. That's really calling it close. If anybody was there, I would have died and he would have lived. Like if Belveth was here, so. Appreciate it for the gank, dude. She almost flashed into my Q. That would have been that would have been kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> if I somehow lived because of that. Alright, so we're gonna go for a proto belt first. Wait, they lane swap back? Why? I mean she just killed my lane. <laughs> Her, her lane, I don't, I don't know why they're lane swapping back. There's literally no... I mean, I guess maybe he, it's because he's getting ganked by Nunu? Or something? Well, this guy is pretty damn fed off that uh, top kill, so... Kind of rough for me. Although I landed a really good Q on her. The only way you can beat like a range character as Cho'Gath is land your Q all the time. Not really the easiest to do. Because, uh... It takes forever to go off, though. And then they just harass you, like, non-stop. There's almost no way to not get hit. 
Unless you just, like, you could try to burn your Q on the wave and stuff, but that's still pretty difficult. Because you can't one-shot until level 7 or 9, depending on how much AP you have. She used both of her potions, so she doesn't have any. Of course, if she's flashless and uh, Nunu ganks, we have crazy setup if either of us land anything. That's like one good thing about uh, both of us together. It's just on our own, we're not very good. Yeah, I can't really play the game, boys. This is, this is rough. We do have Blitzcrank coming, but I'm already so low to the point that I could just die to, like, an ult. Just eat her. Yo, my, my bot lane's nuts. What the heck? They just triple flanked him. Thank God they swap back. I can scale. I I good luck, Senna. I wish you luck. Oh, I should just reset here. I have a pretty decent amount of cash now. Back to feeling pretty good. I don't really like going against somebody who's higher level than me when she was like for a little bit when she's seven and I'm six, and also uh, she had more items, and now. We're back to being relatively even with her. I don't have anything to buy. Did she ever use flash top when uh, my person died? My top laner didn't ping anything, so I'm just going to assume that she has it up. She popped all of her biscuits. Bloodscrank is coming. I don't know, it's gonna be kind of rough getting here, guys. I can land something like that in sounds, but... I mean, that works. Four, four man mid, bro. She's <laughs> probably a bit tilted by that, right? If I can land a ability on her, one Q, she could almost die to one hit, so I'm just like attempting to fish for Qs. Dang, she's still higher level. Level 8? I'll reach 8 on this wave. Belveth is going bot side right now. That guy's just dead then. Right. What? Um, okay. She tried flashing over the wall. So, because I queued this brush and she wasn't in there, I assume she went to there and I, they would dive earlier, but they didn't. Dude, I'm so fed on my team, but I'm like the only person that's fed, which really sucks, because Cho'Gath sucks at carrying versus certain team comps, and their team comp absolutely is one of those team comps that is really annoying to play against. They have high range, they have a champion where, like, if you burst him... He can press in a button to shield himself, so executing him with my ultimate is pretty dangerous because I have to put myself into the path of that to, like, get him. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say that my team's even, like, fed yet, so I don't know. It, it's going to be an uphill battle. AP Cho'Gath is hard to win on. Sometimes. Depends on what you're facing. So let's hope that I can do the best with what I what I uh, was handed with, which is being really fed from everybody kind of assisting me this game. I'm on the way. Jinx is bought, so this fight should be an advantage for us. I'm just going to pop Ghost a little bit earlier so I can get there. Oh my god, that Q was so bad, bro. That's okay. We'll just go for uh, these guys. So we'll eat the Belveth. Okay, never mind. I won't. I'll just eat that guy, I guess. Sounds this guy. Knock him up again. 
Now I'm hitting the this guy. So she dies, silence him. Q lands on that guy too, and we're good. Okay, good fight, guys. Now the reason why we're fighting so hard is because we or at least I did. I saw Jinx's bot. So like that what that should be our fight no matter what because it's a numbers advantage fight. Um so if we lost it, then the game would truly feel over. But because we took that fight with our numbers and we won, that's good to allow us to hopefully uh, continue our advantage. I'm worth so much money. I'm just going to hit this once and back away. I, I am super vulnerable to ganks because uh, if I get hit by CC, even with flash, I might be able to get slowed down to the point that I can't even run away. Do we, do we be ballsy this game? Oh man, I reset at the timing where I probably could have stayed and ganked that guy. Sorry. I could have probably just looped this way. Bloodscrank was sitting in this brush and he could we could pinch her from both sides. She can't stun both of us. What a bummer, man. Sorry. That was a free kill. Okay, I'm on the way bot side. I ate her. I also got the blue buff. <laughs> so, I mean, nice. Okay, you didn't die. Uh, we got what we wanted. Syndra is also super scared of coming back mid the unsafe way. So she's going all the way bot lane because uh, she doesn't want to get caught in river. But we could probably still catch. I'm going to ping for my teammate to set this up. Oh man, she might have went all the way around, huh? Dang. Yeah. Oh, that almost landed. It would have just hurt really bad. Obviously, we can't really kill. All we can do is poke. I'm just going to pink this. I might be able to one-tap uh, anyone at this point that he pulls, because we are quite fed. I think Tarek's going to come. No? Yeah, there he is. It's okay if we didn't get a peace stack. I can chain with that guy so well. Yeah, we'll continue grouping for now. I was gonna just rotate bot, but I should probably just stick around because enemy team does seem to just take fights even if uh, they're not supposed to. Nice. Level 2 ultimate. They killed the Jinx probably by catching it with a blitz hook. Ooh, dude, if you pull her. I was really expecting you to use your pull there. Did he not? It looked like he just knocked her up. Jin messed up the uh, Rift Herald charge, so it won't charge. Will Cinder rotate into me? She was bot side, and she uh, saw Nunu being low, so I was hoping she would walk over. Guess not. Uh, I'm surprised that he bit it. He should just let me do it. I deal 1,400. Just in case they steal. Good secure. Um, next item. What do I want to go? Maybe Riftmaker? I'm a cooldown enjoyer on Cho'Gath. But I also want to build HP. 
I guess Cosmic Drive is honestly the best thing that I can do. So super low CD ability, 4 second CD on Q. 100% AP ratio, deals 550 damage. Ultimate less than 40 second CD. We're at 0 out of 6 stacks? Wow, I can really get stacking if I really want to. 0. All of 5 of my stacks are only from Champions or Dragon. It's pretty good. Okay, so that's done. Shoved out. Grab that. I'm gonna stay bot though. So we'll be 1v1 against this guy. Um, it's just a matter of finding angles to hit her, but obviously it's not the easiest. I'm gonna use one of my proto belts just to uh, do that. It only takes, like, one more Q to kill her, so I will land Q, W, and then ult, and she dies. Uh, I might need to burn Flash to get in range, though. Protobelt's coming back up. She might have based, I don't know. No. I'll just eat her. I don't want to deal with a potential where she outplays me. <laughs> the thing is, as soon as I got hit by those abilities, th it, there's no more... Uh... There's a risk that I can possibly die to her next rotation. And her rotation is very short, because she's a mage and she's pretty high level, so... What do you guys want me to do? Why am I here? Okay, I'm here for that. I landed a really good knockup when they were looking to flank. They probably assumed that I based. Most people would assume that a Cho'Gath has like less than a thousand HP, one third HP is gonna leave. So I'll stick around, dude. I'll I'll stay. Who cares? So she's dead. Bloodscrank pole, right here. Ooh, nice, nice try. Continue the, the pressure. Oh, this, this fight is uh, not looking very good anymore. I got the knockup though. Okay, it doesn't look like she's gonna uh, allow me to land a Q on her. I guess I'll just base right here. This seems like a pretty safe spot. Even if Belveth comes up, I think I could just eat her. Cosmic Drive is done. And then... Uh... I guess a decap next. Just to benefit from, uh, I, I have a huge amount of AP with Magi, so if I can finish this, I will be hitting for like a thousand damage a Q on what a 3.8 second CD. It's really insane. The other item I guess I would go would be a Rift Maker, would be decent. Okay, 1554. 1554 is the amount of damage that my uh, ultimate does monsters. It looks like they're not even contesting, though. Nunu can do it before I did can, because Smite plus his Q deals like 2,000. It's really ridiculous. This might be the very first team fight of the game. This is the first time they finally grouped his five. What? Well, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna eat her. Kill that guy. 
Wait, my pentakill. Wait, my pentakill. Don't. No. My penta. I could have had it. I could have ghosted for this guy. Oh my, that actually was a pentakill angle. I'm so sad. Obviously, I'm not going to pop ghost for a non-penta though. How is the game even like this? I have no idea if this guy is saying that the game's hard or if this game is easy. <laughs> how are we winning or is it how did they kill me? I have no idea what he means. I have 14 kills. My god, man. I have no mana, so it's time for me to go. One more dragon until we're done with it. We're in a, a situation that I didn't really expect in this game. I mean, I still think that the game was in a losable position for a while. But now, now we have to throw like three or four times probably to lose. So, oh, puller, I believe in you. Do it. Just, just pull anything. Okay, whatever. You got her ghost. It, as soon as he throws that hook, you just throw Q on top of Blitzcrank. If he misses, nothing happens, and if he lands it, it's a CC chain that's uncounterable. So I'll just eat him. His stacks fell off, so he just couldn't do anything afterwards. Oh, dude, I have, I have decap and base now. Six hundred and fifty-four AP. It does deal one thousand damage on my Q <laughs> on a three point five second cooldown. <laughs> my God, dude, that's so short. I'll just go kill Syndra. She'll probably kill teammate. Oh, never mind. How did you live? How is Syndra damage so low? I guess you are thousands of gold ahead of her. Um. I just walk over and eat her. Very nice. 34 second CD. What does it go down to? 30? Sixteen kills. Alright. Ultimate's already coming back up. Blitzcrank just continued doing your thing. <laughs> Why does the enemy team actually never group? It's actually kind of insane at this point. I'm a little bit shook at how they're never ever being together. I guess I'll just eat that guy for another stack. I still have more stacks I can get too. Well, it seems that they just gave up. So yeah, that was a Cho'Gath mid. Um, pretty good game. I had to rely on uh, my teammates for some of the plays, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I really think that if the enemy team like grouped up together, they totally could have beaten us. I don't know. All right, GG's. So, thanks for watching, guys. Blitzcrank popped off really hard. Um, maybe I can try to do another video of Cho'Gath because that was a, quite a stomp. But definitely showed how good it is that, depending on the champion that you're playing, you just, when you're grouped together and you can, like, snowball off of it, it's one of the best ways to play. Like, when I got fed, the best thing that I can do is be with my team and my team all look together to just... Uh, fish for our abilities, and then because we fish for our abilities, uh, we're able to just dominate. I have never been invited before. Okay, so 
I want to see what the enemy team is. This account has been challenger in the past, but I haven't played on it like all season. As you can see, it has a very low play rate. D1 on the person that was the Syndra. Sometimes there's master tier players here too. D1, he was last rank master tier last season. So those are the people that I'm facing. Looks like he just added me to play with me, but I'll probably play solo. So thanks for watching, guys. See you guys later. Bye.